Hello, this is Richie from PlayStationCountry.com and I'm taking a look at Tennis in the Face, which is a puzzle game that's out for the PlayStation 4. So you play as a retired tennis player who had to leave the game because he got addicted to energy drinks called Explods and is now out to destroy the company, any examples of the drink that's out there and anybody who is addicted to it, which is basically everybody. So this is a fairly straightforward physics puzzle game. Uh, what you need to do is fire your tennis ball into the faces of your enemies. There's different surfaces that the balls can bounce off of. There's different things that can hinder you or help you. So you could either hit glass and rubbish and they'll slow the ball down and stop it. Or you can hit explosives which will kill more people. It's just a case of working out each level. Now as you can see here I've used a 45 degree angle to play that level like a pro. Outstanding. But as much as I may look like the tennis pro at the moment, I'm not. There's a lot of um, trial and error in this game. You know, you'll sort of hit the ball in one direction, see what happens. Oh, okay, not so good, try somewhere else. Oh, okay, got a bit closer that time. Then you start refining it. Um, I imagine this is what Angry Birds is like, but I never played it. There are quite a lot of levels. Um, there's not much variation in them. They do add a few things as you go along, but not that many new gameplay elements. There's different enemies that come along. Generally the only difference between them is that some of them are shielded at the front, some of them are completely shielded and take two hits. That's about it. There's not a huge amount of variation. Although the characters themselves, there's a little bit of comedy in their design, uh, especially when you're taking out these guys who are supposedly hipsters. So if you're thinking that this game's kind of got a bit of a mobile phone quality to it, that's because it is port of an iOS game. And more so than that, I remember playing a game on Android called Stupid Zombies maybe three or four years ago. And that was this exact sort of game again. And I remember thinking that it was quite playable, but not actually very interesting. I didn't spend more than five minutes playing it. But in sitting down with this one and having to review it, I've actually played all of the game's levels and uh, beaten all of the trophies. And I kind of felt myself sort of enjoying it as I went along. It's got like no real depth and obviously not much in the way of originality, but for the evening and morning that it took me to beat the game, I was kind of enjoying it and yeah, it did kind of give you some interesting puzzles. Now in the spirit of that fucking Gamergate thing um, and ethics in journalism, yes, we did get this as a free review code and so I didn't have to spend any money on it and I think maybe if I had spent money on it I'd be thinking after a day's play where the hell's the rest of the game there's no real incentive to keep going back you can improve your scores in each level of course but there's no real reason to do that because there's no trophies for it and I doubt you'll have many people on your friend list um, giving you much leaderboard competition so you're not going to get much out of the game after the first day. But that said, there's some fun to be had here, and if you like what you see on the video, then go and check the game out. But more importantly, check us out on PlayStationCountry.com, and thanks for watching. We love you very much.